Royal Lytham and St Anne's is widely considered as one of the finest tests in Lynx golf. Having hosted the Open 11 times, the list of winners proves it takes a very special player to become a champion here. However, it's not just household names that get to grace the fairways on the coast of the northwest of England. Once a year, the best of the amateur circuit take part in the Lytham Trophy, a four-round stroke play tournament first held back in 1965. The 144-man field consists of golfers from all over the globe, as well as the very best the UK has to offer. With Royal Lytham due to host the Walker Cup in September, it's even more important for the British and Irish players to impress captain Nigel Edwards. I'd like to think if they can have a good performance here this week, they would take a lot of confidence from that. Of course, we're a, we're a long way from picking the team. You know, we don't pick the team until the third week of August. So there's a lot of golf to be played between now and then. Um, but what, what we will endeavour to do is ensure that the players know the golf course inside out and, uh, and use, use that knowledge to our advantage. On a notoriously difficult course, the varying conditions made the test even harder, with many players finding low scores difficult to come by. Only 18-year-old Swede Marcus Schinoltz finished the opening two rounds below par. The plus-four handicapper was particularly impressive with his putter and at three under had a healthy five-shot lead to preserve going into Sunday. With the weather set to change throughout the final day, the 50 players that made the cut knew preparation was going to be crucial, especially with two rounds still to play. All the challengers needed a birdie barrage with Schinnelt in a commanding lead. However, the only player to shoot under par in round three was Englishman Ashton Turner. After starting the day 11 shots back, the final round wasn't as fruitful for the 19-year-old. Five consecutive bogeys and Turner eventually finished in a tie for fourth. Irishman Cormac Chauvin provided the only real assault on Schinnelt's dominance, cutting the lead to within four. However, on 16, he couldn't quite scramble a par. While a poor drive on the 18th saw him lose his ball. Even the galleries couldn't help as they searched in vain. Schinnelt was able to soak in the atmosphere on the 18th with victory all but guaranteed. He confidently mopped up for par, capping off a superb three days of golf. The Swede finished at level par, eight shots ahead of his closest challengers. I'm just in a good streak, and putting has been working really well the last couple of weeks, so I think that's the key, really. Uh, the rest has been as it has been all year, but I finally got the putting to, to work out well. They're all legends of that trophy. It feels great to be, be up there with them. And, to be in the history books of this prestigious club is a cool feeling. Schinnelt becomes the first Swede to win the event and now plans to spend the summer on the Nordic Tour before European Tour Q School beckons later in the year.